Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to Argumentative Speaking How are you guys? How is life? Pay kabare Hopefully you're just doing fine Ya yeah. Life have been tough out there Klaten now I'm living in Klaten by the way It's been a red zone While the case of COVID is Significantly increased Let's pray Allah will make it Like Gone forever Ya, tetap jaga kesehatan, pakai masker dan jaga jarak. Kali ini kita akan membahas review tentang Arel, satu materi yang akan muncul di mid test kalian ya. So if you don't remember, if you still kind of like don't understand the material was about, ah simak setelah ini ya. Dan lupa di akhir nanti kita akan share a list of motion for your final sorry for your mid test project ya. The first letter is A, A for assertion. Assertion meanings uh, you take one side of opinion, agree or disagree. So once a topic given to you, then you have to decide whether you go for it or you against it. Yeah. So simply side of opinion. Jadi di assertion tugasnya adalah memilih satu sisi opini pendapat dari topik yang diberikan. Apakah kalian setuju atau tidak setuju? Oke, okay? so no brainer. The second one is reasoning. Reasoning simply is the explanation why the topic should be believed in, why your argument is logical. Gitu ya. Jadi untuk yang kedua ada ada reasoning. Reasoning ini adalah bagian di mana di argumen anda harus dijelaskan. Kenapa gitu ya topik atau argumen yang kita pilih itu uh, opini kita setuju atau tidak setuju? Jadi ini semacam explanation dari penjelasan dari pilihan assertion kita ya. Kalau kita setuju, kenapa? Ada penjelasannya. Kalau kita tidak setuju, kenapa? Ya, simply as that. Ya. So in other words, jadi dengan kata lain, simpelnya begini, di reasoning kalian harus membuktikan kenapa, menjelaskan kenapa uh, opini anda itu benar, gitu ya. opini anda itu logic, gitu ya. so it's called reasoning. The third one is E for evidence, ini mirip dengan reasoning, kalau reasoning itu adalah argumen literal ya, yang kita jelaskan idenya, kenapa, bagaimana, kalau evidence ini cukup mirip tetapi lebih kepada supporting references so once you state your opinion ketika anda memilih atau mengungkapkan opini anda terhadap satu topik go either you go uh, agree or disagree maka anda butuh yang kedua tadi ada namanya reasoning ada penjelasan logic tentang alasan anda kemudian yang ketiga ini adalah evidence anda harus punya supporting references anda tidak boleh hanya mengklaim satu topik itu pendapat anda itu benar tanpa satu supporting references what is supporting references supporting references can be a, a research evidence can be an examples can be a daily life experience dan yang pasti ini mendukung dan sejalan dengan assertion kalian ya ini penting dua hal ini sama evidence dan reasoning ini adalah poin yang sama tetapi Pressernya kalau di reasoning kalian menjelaskan logiknya ya, oke. Okay? Tetapi kalau pada evidence ya kalian pressernya ada pada pembuktian, uh, ada penelitian apa yang sudah begitu, ada kejadian apa yang mendukung itu dan seterusnya ya, and so on and so forth. Oke. Okay? The last but not the very least is probably most extremely important. In Arel, yang paling penting ini yang paling akhir ya, ini namanya link back atau linking back, memanggil kembali. Ingat, anda membuat satu assertion, satu pendapat ke kiri atau ke kanan, setuju atau tidak setuju, lalu kemudian anda dukung dengan reasoning, dengan logic, ya, anda explain, lalu kemudian anda buktikan dengan evidence, ada references, ada contoh, ada example, lalu kemudian di akhir ada link back adalah menunjukkan relevansi argumen tadi ke pendapat awal tadi. Jadi di akhir ini di link back ini adalah mengingatkan kembali pada pendengar bahwa anda 
setuju atau tidak setuju dan dengan relevansinya kalian jelaskan nah lo ya kan setelah kalian jelaskan dengan evidence dan reasoning lalu kemudian kalian konfirmasi kembali ya kan e, bener kan e, That's it for the review, quick review, hope you don't get lost. Mudah-mudahan nggak tambah bingung karena sudah lama tidak exercise ya. Tetapi saya akan beri contoh bagaimana RL ini saya pakai untuk mengeksekusi satu topik ya. So you can use this for the mid test. Let's say the motion or the topic is junk food should be banned from school. Nah ini contohnya kita kasih topik, topiknya adalah, motionnya adalah Junk food should be banned from school. Makanan cepat saji harus dilarang di sekolah. Gitu ya, I'm gonna use my RL ya. Junk food should be banned from school to maintain the good achievement of the student at school. How good the quality of the eating habit will be equal to how good their physical Condition. A study reported in China shows that the number of students getting sick because of the health issue is getting higher. The reason is simply because they are addicted. The students are addicted to junk food and the junk food are available at the school. When the students are getting sick and they are missing the class, so they cannot improve the quality of their study as well as the achievement at school. Since junk food is contributing to the decrease of the quality of student performance and achievement at school, therefore, we should ban junk food from school. That's it for the example, and if you hope everybody is actually recalling back and pull yourself out together for this mid test. And now it's time for me to read all the motion, all the topic for your mid test. Once again, you only need to Pick one. You select one you think you can handle, yeah? Best. So, here we go. Which one is better, TikTok or Instagram? Internet bring more harm than good to the generations. BTS is better than Blackpink. Online learning is not better than offline learning. Online gaming is detrimental hobbies. That's all for the list of the topic and motion for the mid test. Just go for it. Choose or pick one you like and you think you can do best with. Don't forget to record the video as much as possible with your own creativity and all all the things that you think will make the video better don't forget you have three weeks three weeks time to finish this project if you have just finished the project you can you can fill in the google form in the link below yeah i wish you all the best guys stay healthy and stay home and hopefully stay spiritful joining the class until another half of the semesters to be finished yeah thank you guys wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye